Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm still back in base. We're still in lockdown in Ireland and I can't get out anywhere. But what I decided to do was to make a different episode because I had a couple of messages from people asking me how I blended the images that I take in the last photo shoot when I was out in the fog in the ancient woods. This image here, in fact. And when I was making the video, I had said I'm going to take three photographs, one for the foreground, one for the midground, and one for the distance, and I'd blend them in post. So I'm going to go through how I use the automatic tools that are within Photoshop to be able to blend the images to give you a sharp image from front to back. So here we are now in Lightroom and what I have basically is the three images that I would have taken on the day. Now I've called the images just for ease of use here, three different names. So the first image here is called Far. Second image here is called mid, and then the third image is near, okay? So by doing that, or close, so by doing that, I'm making sure that I've got focus on each of those images. Now, what I always make sure I do here is I select all three images. And by selecting all three images, any adjustments that I'm going to make are going to be made equally across each of the photographs because they were all taken at exactly the same time. Now, I've made some one or two slight adjustments here, and something I always do in Lightroom is on the top right-hand corner on the histogram here, you've got your highlights and you've got your shadows. Now, if you click on each of those here, it will show you the areas that are overexposed, and it'll also show you the areas that are underexposed. So if I bring the blacks all the way down, you'll see down here that this area here is going to be uh, showing up in blue little lights here that it's underexposed. So by adjusting the blacks here, I'm making it across all three images as well so that I get an equal exposure on the three photographs. Once you're happy with what you've gotten then from the photographs and how you want to edit them, it's very simple then to bring them into Photoshop and let Photoshop do its magic. So what I'll do here is I've got three images selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go edit as layers in Photoshop. So we allow now Photoshop to, to take the images, bring the images in and import them in there and we'll cut back here once they're all imported. Okay, so now all three images have been imported into Photoshop. But basically, very simple, you just, uh, hold down your shift key. First one is selected, shift and hit the bottom, that would select all three. You come up here into edit, and then you've got auto align, which is the first thing that you normally need to do. Now, I didn't move the tripod, but on this occasion, I'm still going to use the auto align feature. And just pressing on auto, you've got all these other buttons that it will do that, to be honest, I don't know what they do. I don't really use Photoshop that much. So click it on auto, press OK. And now what Photoshop will do is it'll make sure all these images are perfectly aligned. It'll take some of the assets within each of the images and it might make some minute little changes and adjustments if the tripod was to move or you move the camera slightly or whatnot. So once it's done all that, all the three images now are completely aligned. It's very simple. You go back up into edit and the button that's underneath auto align is auto blend. Hit on that. It'll say, what do I want to do? So if I want to do a panorama. I can make it a panorama together. On this occasion, I want to stack the images together and I want to make sure that I keep the seamless tones and colors connected and any gaps then as well at the content to where they fill the areas. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that when your tripod isn't moving, but leave it on, it doesn't make much of a difference. Press OK. And if you keep your eye here on this bottom part of the image, you'll see that this branch or trunk of the tree is out of focus. As this will go through and it will blend all the images, you'll see this miraculously come into focus. And there we go. So now we have an image which is sharp at the back, sharp in the midground, and sharp in the foreground. Now, all you have to do then from that point of view is you can either go in and crop your image if you wanted to change it, or press Control and S, which will save the image. And then that will then bring this image back into Lightroom. And then you've got an image that you can re-edit again because it resets everything again for you. But I've already edited the image. But there's only one final thing that I normally do then at this point when I bring it back into Lightroom is I just go around the edges and make sure that there is nothing that has any kind of artifacts that have come in from the blend that Photoshop has done. Now, if we're looking in Photoshop as well here, you can see what it has done with each of the images. So you can actually turn off the finished results and then go back to where you would have been. Or you can see on the right hand side, it's already applied a mask and you can see the areas that it's taken from each of those images. And then it's applied all of those into the final photograph, which will make the whole image sharp. So now Lightroom has brought the image back in. As you can see, it's called it the edit. 
And you can see that my highlights here are blown this image because it's after putting the three images together. So because, it, because it's reset itself again, I've got all this flexibility. I can bring down my highlights again. That's now perfectly here. The image is sharp the whole way through, except for small bit of artifacts here on the very, very edge. So what I'll do for that is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to crop slightly, just taking out the edges on either side here and making sure that I'm not losing out on anything that I want within the image and that there's no blurriness per se that could have crept into the image. And then very simple, look at this here, press OK, and it's done. And now I have my image, which is front to back, completely sharp. So that's how I do my edit. That's how I edited the three images together. Hope you've enjoyed this different version of my uh, vlog. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions or any comments, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And hopefully you'll see me out in the field, maybe not that far from home for the next couple of weeks anyway. But yeah, back out in the field and getting the fresh air and enjoying what I do. So thank you very much, as I say. And until the next time, Shlomo Fogg. Thank you.